ಮನೆಯಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಶ್ರೀ ಯಥಾಂ ಪರಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಂ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಾಗನ ರಘುನಥ ಪಿಥಂ ಥಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸೈತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾನ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪರ ಸಾಗನ ಲಲಿತ ಶಿವಿಷ್ಕಂ ವಿಥಂ ಸಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಚಿಮರಂಜನಾಶನ ಶ್ಲೋಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರು ಮಿಲಿತ ಯನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗೌರವಬೀಷ್ಟ ಸುಪುರಕ ಗುರುಗಣಾರಶೀಷ ಸಂಪೂಷಿ ಚಿಂತ್ಯ ಚಿಂತ್ಯ ಸಮಸ್ತ ವೇದ ನಿಪುನ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪತಾನುಗಂ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಉಜ್ವಲ ಭರತನು ಭಕ್ತಿಯಾನ್ವಿದ ಸುಂದರ ಮನೆ ವಿಶ್ವಗುರುನ್ ಶಾ ದಿವ್ಯಗವತ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನೈ ಬಿಜಾಪ್ರದ ದೇವ ದಿವ್ಯಧನು ಸುಶಾಂತಪಾನಂಬಲಾಕಚೇಲಾಂಶಿ ಚಂದ್ರನಂದಪುರ ಸದೈಕಪಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಂಬುಧಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ನಿಧಿ ಸುಭಕ್ತಿಲಾಸಿ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ತರ ವಂದೇ ಥಂ ಶುಭನ ಮರೈಕ ಶರಣ ನ್ಯಾಶೀಶ್ವರ ಶ್ರೀಧರ ವಂಶ ಕಾಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿತ ನಮ್ಮ ಪವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾಮರಣ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಮನೈ ಕೋನೃತ್ಯ ವಿಷಯ ನಮ ಸೋ ವರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚಾರಿತಾಮೃತ by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami translation and commentary by Srila Prabhupada this is verse number 70 eta bole mahaprabhu kore lagaman morchito haya tahan parila sarvaboma wow ಹೇತ ಬೋಲಿ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕೋರಿ ಲಗಮನ್ ಮೂರ್ಚಿತ ಹಾಯ ಥಾಹನ್ ಪರಿಲ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮ ಸೈಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ದ ಪಾರ್ಡನ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮ ಬಾಧಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮೀಡಿಯಟ್ಲಿ ಫೇಂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫೆಲ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ತರಿಯೂಪಕೀಯ ಕೋಯಲ ಶೀಘ್ರ ಗಮನ್ ತರಿಯೂಪಕೀಲ ಕೋಯಲ ಶೀಘ್ರ ಗಮನ್ ಕೇಬು ಜೀತೆ ಭಾರೆ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಚಿತ್ತಮಾನ್ ಅಲೋ ಸರ್ವಭೌಮ ಬಾಧಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಫೇಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ರಾಧರ್ ಹಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಇಸ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೌತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ವಭೌಮ ಬಾಧಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಫೇಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಡಿನ್ ಈವನ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ It was naturally expected that when Sarvabhom Bhattacharya fainted and fell to the ground, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would have taken care of him and waited for him to regain consciousness, but he did not do so. Rather, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately started on his tour. It is therefore very difficult to understand the activities of a transcendental person. Sometimes they may seem rather odd, but a, but a, pers- but a transcendental personality remains in this position unaffected by material considerations mahan mahanu bhaver chiter swabhava e ehoi pushpa sama komala katina bhajramoi this is the nature of the mind of an uncommon personality sometimes it is sometimes it is soft like a, a flower but sometimes it is as hard as a thunderbolt this is the nature of the mind of an uncommon personality sometimes it is soft like a flower but sometimes it is hard as a thunderbolt bad vajrada pi kator katoranu mriduni kusumada pi loko taranam chetam shi konu vigyatam ishwaraha the hearts of those who are above common behavior are sometimes harder than a thunderbolt and sometimes softer than a flower how can one accommodate such contradictions in great personalities i love this comment this is so nice you know the hearts of those who are above common behavior are sometimes harder than a thunderbolt and sometimes softer than a flower how can one accommodate such contradictions in great personalities nitananda prabhu badacharye utaila taralok sangetari gari patala or nitananda prabhu raised sarvabhom badacharya with the help of his men saw him to his home bhaktagana shigrashi loila prabhu sata 
Mastra Prashada Loya Tabi Aila Gopinata. Immediately all the dev all the devotees came and partook of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's company. Afterwards Gopinatha Acharya came with the garments and prashadam. Mahaprabhu sent Gopinatha Acharya to to fetch four sets of cop of coping and four and four of Bahirvas. Bahirvas is like a, a sannyas dhoti and and underwear. So for Mahaprabhu to take on his trip, what Mahaprabhu was taking on his trip was four sets of garments and a water pot. That's what he ca carried with him. Very traveling very lightly. With very light. Okay. Savasange Prabhu Tabe Alanata Aila Namaskara Koritare Bahu Stuti Koila. All the devotees followed Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to a place known as Alalanat. There they all offered respects and various prayers. Premaveshe Nritya Gita Koila Katakan Dekite Aila Tahan Vaise Jatajan. In great ecstasy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced and chanted for some time. Indeed, all the neighbors came to see him. Jodi Kete Sabalog Bole Hari Hari Prema Veshe Madhya Nritya Kore Gorahari. All around Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is also known as Gorahari, people began to shout the holy name of Hari. Lord Chaitanya, immersed in his usual ecstasy of love, danced in the midst of them. That's very nice. It says, Lord Chaitanya, immersed in his usual ecstasy of love, danced in the midst of So it's very usual. Very Okay. Katachana Sadrisha Deho Aruna Basan Pulakashu Kampashweda Katahate Bhushan. The body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was naturally very beautiful. It was like molten gold, dressed in saffron cloth. Indeed, he was most beautiful for being ornamented with the ecstatic symptoms which caused his bodily hair to stand on end, tears to well up in his eyes, and his body to to tremble and perspire and perspire all over. Dekia Lok Eramani Hoila Chamatkar Jatalok Aishikeho Nahijaigar. Everyone present was astonished to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's dancing and his bodily transformations. Whoever came did not want to return home. Keho Nache Keho Gai Sri Krishna Gopal Premite Bashila Lok Sri Brida Sabal. Everyone, including children, old men, and women, began to dance and to chant the holy names of Sri Krishna and Gopal. In this way, they all floated in the ocean of love of Godhead. Deki Nityananda Prabhu Kohe Bhaktagane E Rupe Nritya Age Habe Grame Grame. Upon seeing the chanting and dancing of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Nityananda predicted that later there would be dancing and chanting in every village. Atikala hoila lok chadiya na jai, tabe nityananda gosai shri jila upai. Seeing that it was already getting late, Lord Nityananda Prabhu, the spiritual master, invented a means to disperse the crowd. Madhyana Korite Gela Prabhu Ke Loya Tahadeki Lokai She Chodike Daya. When Lord Nityananda Prabhu took Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for lunch at noon, everyone came running around them. Madhyana Koriya Aila Devata Mandire Nijagan Praveshi Le Nijagan Praveshi Kapata Dila Balur Dware. After finishing their baths, they returned at noon to the temple, admitting his own men, Sri Nityananda Prabhu, closed the outside door. Tabe Gopinatha Dui Prabhure Bhikkha Karaila Prabhura Sesha Prasharana Sabe Bhante Koila. 
Gobinath Acharya then brought prasadam for the two lords to eat, and after they had eaten, the remnants of the food were distributed to all the devotees. Shuni Shuni Lok Sab Asi Bashirdwari Hari Hari Boli Lok Kolahola Kore. Hearing about this, everyone there came to the outer outside door and began chanting the holy name Hari Hari. Thus there was a tumultuous sound. Tabe Mahaprabhu Dwara Koraila Mochan Anandeya Shiya Lok Paila Darshan. After lunch, Mahaprabhu made them open the door. In this way, everyone received his his uh, everyone received his darshan with great pleasure. E mata sandhya parjanda lok ashejai vaishnava hoila lok sabe nachegai. The people came and went until evening, and all of them became vaishnava devotees and began to chant and dance. E rupe se tai bhakta gana sange. Sevratre Ganaila Krishna Katarange. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then pressed the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then passed the night there and discussed the pastimes of Lord Krishna with his devotees with great pleasure. So this is all you know, Mahaprabhu left Sarva stayed with Sarva Bhama Bhattacharya for some time because he requested don't go so soon, so spend a few days with me at my house and Mahaprabhu passed a few days with Sarvabhoma then now he's preparing to leave for South India and he went at the temple now of Alalanath which is a short distance from Jagannath Puri. Pratikale Snanakori Kori Lagaman Bhaktagane Vidaya Dila Kori Alingan the next morning after taking his bath Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started on his South India tour. He bade farewell to the devotees by embracing them. Murchitahaya sabe bhumete parila tahan sab bhane prabhu fure nachahila. Although they all fell to the ground unconscious, the Lord did not turn to see them but proceeded onward. So the events that are happen, happening are that. What is it in 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 the month of let's see in the month of in around January? What's that? What's that t called? Um, Mang Makara Sankranti. Huh? Makara Sankranti. But uh, Bhamana, huh? Bhamana, no, no, it's not. It's not Vamana month. That that month of January is not called Vamana month. Bog. Bog. Mag, yeah, Mag, and then he took sannyas during the Mag. Then next comes uh, the month of uh, going through brain brain freeze. Uh, Falgun. Next is Falgun, and then Ma Falgun, and then Mahaprabhu is going to uh, Jagannath Puri about that. He stops at that he he's in the house of Advaita Charya, then by his mother's request he's going to Jagannath Puri. And then after that comes what is it? Uh, Chaitra and then Vaishak. <coughs> I remember Vaishak month because we'd be in Navadeep and during so, during the month of Vaishak there's so much wind and all the shutters and everything banged. But he went very quickly. He went to Jagannath Puri, and then he converted. He converted um, Sarvabhoom Bhattacharya. Then there's those two months, which I said, uh, uh, what is it? The first. What was the month I said before Vaishak? Uh, Chaitra, Chaitra, and then Vaishak. And Mahaprabhu, it's been like four months since he took sannyas or so. He converted Sarva Bhattacharya. Then immediately Mahaprabhu tells him, he promised his mother he wouldn't go to Jagannath, he wouldn't go to Vrindavan, he would go to Jagannath Puri. But then he converts Sarva Bhattacharya and then he tells everyone, I'm going to South India because I need to search for Vishwarup. He took sannyas and we never heard from him again. And it said in the purport, it said in the verse, rather, it said, Mahaprabhu already knew that 
Vishwarup, who had become Shankaranya, he had already attained Prapti City, it said, it means he had passed away. Mahaprabhu already knew that, but he gave the excuse that he had to go search for news of his brother, and he was going to South India. And the real reason is he wants to spread, you know, his divine mercy and and conscious Krishna consciousness all over South India. So it's been just a, few, a month or two since he comes comes to Jagannath Puri. When he went to Jagannath Puri, it said at that time it was Dol Yatra. Dol Yatra means holy, but the holy is coincidental with uh, Gaur Purnima. So he's there at Dol Yatra, and like when we're in the Mutt, Pancham, Pancham Dol, we would go to Hapania. Dasham Dol, we would go to Bamanpar. So he's there, and then within a month or two, he's leaving for South India. So he's going very quickly. And the effect will be that people will be waiting er earnestly, very eagerly for him, because he's converted the king's main, uh, you know, Brahman and... Brahman, the main person, which is Sarvabhaum Bhattacharya, he's converted Sarvabhaum Bhattacharya from being an impersonalist follower of, of uh, Shankaracharya, you know, following the the Shari Bhasha, all impersonalist philosophies, and he's converted him to become like a fanatic devotee. A fanatic, Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya is such such a fanatic, but he couldn't even read the Srimad Bhagavatam without changing it, because it said it said uh, what is it? Mukti Pada. He changed it to Bhakti Pada, and then and then Mahaprabhu said, "You can't change the Bhagavatam," and he said, "But we hate Mukti. Rather, we like Bhakti." So, you know, he's become a fanatic. He's become a fanatic, and everyone knows that. Everyone knows that, and they're just everyone's waiting in line for to to meet and know Mahaprabhu and the king and everyone. But Mahaprabhu is immediately, well, I have to go now. So he's now, although they all fell to the ground unconscious, the Lord did not turn to see them, but proceeded onward. Bichere Bhyakula Prabhu Chalila Duki Haya Panche Krishna Dasa. Jai Jalapatra Loya. In separation, the Lord became very much perturbed and walked on unhappily. His servant, Krishna Das, who was carrying his water pot, followed behind. So Mahaprabhu refused to take anyone with him. He says, I won't go alone. And then Nityananda said, How can anyone tolerate that? You know, you're gonna you need someone to call, carry your clothes and your water pot and you'll fall unconscious and people you know, who will take care of you? Here, take this new man, Krishna Das. He's very qualified. You take him with you. So Mahaprabhu took Krishna Das with him. Bhaktagana Bhaktagana Upavasi Tahanrahila Aradine Duke Hoya Nila Chali Aila. All the devotees remained there and fasted. And the next day, they all unhappily returned to Jagannath Puri. Mata Sima Praya Prabhu Kori Lagaman Prema Veshe Jai Kori Nama Sankirtan Almost like a mad lion, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went on his tour on his tour filled with ecstatic love and performing Sankirtan, chanting Krishna's names as follows. So nice. Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 Rakshamam. Krishna, 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 Pahimam. Rama, Raghava, Rama, Raghava, Rama, Raghava, Rakshamam. Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava, Pahimam. So nice. The, and then here's the translation, translating, translation. The Lord chanted 
Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 Raksha mom. Krishna, 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 Bahi mom. That is, O Lord Krishna, please protect me and maintain me. He also chanted, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rakshamam, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Pahimam. That is, O Lord Rama, descendant of King Raghu, please protect me. O Krishna, O Keshava, killer of the Keshi demon, please maintain me. And Srila Govindamar said, people who are disturbed by ghosts, they can chant this, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rakshamam, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Pahimam. Eshloka hmm. Pari Pate, Chalila Gora Hari, Loka Deke Pataco, Hey Bo, Hari Hari. Chanting this verse, Lord Chaitanya, known as Gora Hari, went on his way. As soon as he saw someone, he would request him to, to chant, Hari, Hari. Uh, chant Hari, Hari is also an abbreviation. Mahaprabhu is instructing people they can chant the Maha Mantra, but it's all abbreviated. Chant, Bo, Hari, Hari. All right. Yeah. You can chant many names of Hari. Se loka prema mata hoya bole Hare Krishna Prabhu Rapache Sange Jai Darshana Satrishna. Whoever heard Mahaprabhu chant Hari Hari also chanted the holy name of Lord Hari and Krishna. In this way they all followed the Lord very eager to see him. Katakane Rahi Prabhu Tari Alingya Vidaya Kori Latare Shakti Sancharya. After some time, the Lord would embrace these people and bid them return home, having invested each of them with spiritual potency. In his Amrita Pravahabhasya, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur explains that this spiritual potency is the essence of the pleasure potency and the knowledge potency. By these two potencies, one is empowered with devotional service. Lord Krishna himself on his... Uh, or his representative, the unalloyed devotee, can mercifully bestow these combined potencies upon any person. Being thus en endowed with such potencies, one can become an unalloyed devotee of the Lord. Anyone favored by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyone empowered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyone favored by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was empowered with this bhakti shakti. Thus the Lord's followers were able to preach Krishna consciousness by divine grace. Oh, need some more light. Sejana Nijagrame Koriya Gaman Krishna Bole Hase Kande Nachi Anukan. Each of these empowered persons would return to his own village always chanting the holy name of Krishna, and sometimes laughing, crying, and dancing. Jarideke tare kohe koha krishna nam e mata vaishnava koila sabha nijagram. Such an empowered person would request everyone and anyone, whoever, whomever he saw, to chant the holy name of Krishna. In this way, all the villagers would also become devotees of the Supreme Personality of God. See? It's very contagious. It's like you get all the nice effects of spreading a, a disease. But in this case, it's not really a disease. It's contagious Krishna consciousness. It's a cure. Huh? huh? It's a cure. Well... Well, because, that may be, but because there's a certain amount of madness mixed in, it's, and we can, it's, it has curative effects, but it has also spreading, con, ca, spreading some, when, when Govindamars, when he, he would, he would uh, 
Sometimes he would refer to people who are spreading disease or something, or even other things. He would say they're they're spreading Krishna consciousness. Gramantara hoite deki deki te aila jata jan tara darshana kripai hoi tara tara sam. People from different villages who came to see such an empowered individual would become like like that person or like him sim, simply by seeing him and receiving the mercy of his glance. So when I'm reading, if it says people from different villages who came to such, see such an empowered individual would become like him simply by seeing him and re, receiving the mercy of his glance. But I'll say people from different villages who came to see such an empowered person would become would become like like that person simply by seeing and receiving the mercy of his glance. Oh, well, I can't change everything, but, you know, very socially correct. Just, just Josh, just, just. Say jai gramera lok vaishnava karai anyagrami ashitari deki vaishnava hoi. Yeah, like, what do you call a mailman now? A mailman? A letter carrier? (laughs) Oh, a A mail mail person. A a mail person, okay. So, but the correct answer would be you call a mailman a person person. (laughs) Can't be a mailman. (laughs) Say jai gramera lok vaishnava karaya. Anya Grami Ashitare Deki Vaishnava Hoi. When each of these newly indi- empowered individuals returned to his, his own village, he also converted the villagers into devotees. And when others came from different villages to see him, they were also converted. Say Jai Anagrami Kori Upadesh Emata Vaishnava Hoila Sab Dakina Desh. In this way, as empowered men and as in this way, as empowered Men went from one village to another. All the people of South India became devotees. Okay? Ematapate Jaite, Shata Shata John, Vaishnava Korena Tari, Kori Alingan. Thus, many hundreds of people became Vaishnavas when they passed the Lord on the way and were embraced by Him. Che Krami Rahe Bika Korena Jaragare Se Gramera Jata Lok Aishideki Bari. In whatever village Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stayed to accept alms, which means to to take to take uh, prasadam, many people came to see him. Prabhupada Kripaya Hoim Mahabhagavat Se Sab Acharya Haya Tari Jagat. By the mercy of the Supreme Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all these persons became Mahabhagavatas. Later they became teachers or spiritual masters and liberated the entire world. You know, just just go with it. Spiritual masters, plural. They, so many persons would become Mahabhagavata, spiritual masters, and then they would spread Krishna consciousness wherever they went. That That is the effect. Emata koila jabat gela the Setu Bande, Sarvadesh, Vaishnava Hoila, Prabhura Sambande. In this way, the Lord went to the extreme southern part of India and he converted all the provinces to Vaishnavism. Nabadi Peje Shakti, Nakoila Prakashi, Se Shakti, Prakashi, Nishtari Ladakina Deshe. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not manifest his spiritual his spiritual potencies at Navadip, but he did manifest them in South India and liberated all the people there. See? In this way, Mahaprabhu, Lord Ma, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did, ma, did not manifest his spiritual potencies at Navadip, but he did manifest them in South India and liberated all the people there. At that time, there were many smartas, non-devotee followers of Vedic rituals at the... Maharaj ki... 
At that time, there were many smart and non-devotee followers of Vedic rituals at the holy place of Navadip, which was also the birthplace of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Followers of the Smriti Shastra are called Smartas. Most of them are non-devotees, and their main business is following the Brahminical principles strictly. However, they are not enlightened in devotional service. In Navadip, all the learned scholars are followers of the Smriti Shastra, and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not attempt to convert them. Therefore, the author has remarked that the spiritual potency Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not manifest at Navadip was by his grace manifested in South India. Thus, everyone there became a Vaishnava. By this, it is to be understood that people are really interested in preaching in a favorable situation. If the candidates for conversion are too disturbing, a preacher may not attempt to spread Krishna consciousness among them. It is better to go where the situation is more favorable. This Krishna consciousness movement was first attempted in India, but the people of India being absorbed in political thoughts did not take to it. They were entranced by the political leaders. We prefer, therefore, to come to the West following the order of our spiritual master and by the grace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this movement is becoming successful. Yeah. And I remember one person, his, his name was, uh, what was, I forget his first name, but he he became, he was from Hungary, and he became Narayan Mara. She's passed away. Mm -hmm. He was initiated by Srila Srinar Mara, uh, Sanyas, and he told to, he told, at that time it was some difficulty, and he told Srila Srinar Mara, I can't, I won't be able to wear Sanyas Beish in Hungary, where he was where he's from. And then Guru Maharaj told him, then go somewhere else. Yes. Don't preach there. He, Guru Maharaj didn't say, oh, then it's okay, you don't have to wear sannyas base. He said, then go somewhere else. Yeah. Well, again, if the candidates for conversion are too are too disturbing, a preacher may not attempt to spread Krishna consciousness among them. It is better to go where the situation is more favorable. Hmm. Now, now on the other hand, Avadut Maharaj, he preaches in Russia. And sometimes he wears sannyas beish and sometimes he doesn't wear sannyas beish. But Guru Maharaj knew that, Govinda Maharaj knew that. And I would say, then who cares in one sense because he has been so, in the, in the vision of us, so successful spreading Krishna, he and his father, Vijay Raman, have been so successful in spreading Krishna consciousness in Russia that that's what counts. The situation there may not be very favorable but he didn't go somewhere else. He just spread Krishna consciousness there. Gurudev told him once that if people ask you wear your sannyas base, you tell them I'm wearing it. Yeah. Wow. So you uh, heard about that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Tell them this is my sannyas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes I saw else, out, out of, out of uh, India, sometimes he wear, would wear sannyas base and sometimes he, he wear his own version of sannyas beige, and you know, or or not exactly sannyas beige. And I would say again, who cares? I mean, he's what is his name? Avadu Mars. <laughs> you know, learn something from his name. <laughs> yeah. And he's he did what he did what Srila Prabhupada and Srila Guru Mars and Srila Govinda Mars wanted. He spread Krishna consciousness, and that in Russia, which is not an easy thing to do. Yeah. That means he even spread, he even spread Krishna consciousness among the mafia, because he had he had a a, a preaching center in Moscow, 
which was inside the gated community at that time of the KGB. I don't know what they call them now. They have different letters. But it's the same thing. They would even have people from the KGB coming to the temple. Yeah. And no. At one point, they even told Srila Govinda Maharaj when he was in India, they saw that there were too many people. So they said, they canceled this program and said that Govinda Maharaj couldn't uh, preach. I guess their conception was religion. And then Govinda Maharaj said, we won't, then we won't preach religion, we'll preach culture, Indian culture. And the people from the Indian embassy came and then Srila Govinda Maharaj was speaking in a place in, I was there in, in Moscow and he began by speaking. You cannot speak about Indian culture without speaking of Krishna. <laughs> and he is preaching just as normal. Prabhu ke jai bhaje tare tara kripa hoi say say a sub lila satya kori loy Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's empowering of others can be understood by one who is actually a devotee of the Lord and who has received his mercy Alukika lila jara na hoi vishvas ialok paralok tara hoi nash if one does not believe in the uncommon transcendental pastimes of the Lord, he is vanquished both in this in this world and in the next. And this word is very nice. This alokika lilai, alokika. It's here translated as uncommon. But we used to sometimes watch television with Srila Govinda Maharaj, Indian television. One of the programs was called Alukika. Do you remember that? Alukika? I mean, I know the word, but I don't know the But in, on the show, it was invariably always about some kind of strange black magic. Ghosts were very common on that show. It was called Alukika. So that alukika trans uncommon but it means like a like a you know uncommon on steroids kind of <laughs> you know very strong version of uncommon if one does not believe in the uncommon transcendental pastimes of the lord he is vanquished both in this world and in the next pratame you know i read that if one does not believe in the uncommon transcendental pastimes of the Lord, he is vanquished it, both in this world and in the next. And I say, I believe, I believe, I believe it. Pratame kohila pravor je rupe gaman emata chaniya java dakina brahman. Whatever I have stated about the beginning of the Lord's tour should also be understood to hold for as long as the Lord toured South India. Emata jaite jaite gela kormastane kormadeke koilatare stavana praname. When Mahaprabhu came to the holy place known as Kormachetra, he saw the deity and offered prayers and obeisances. Primaveshi hasi kandi nritya gita koila deke sarva lokera chite chamatkara hoila. While at this place, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in his usual ecstasy of love of God in him, was laughing, crying, dancing, and chanting. Everyone who saw him was astonished. Ascharya Shunya Lok, Aila Deki Bare, Prabhura Rupa Prima, Deki Hoila Chamatkare. After hearing of these wonderful occurrences, everyone came to see him there. When they saw the beauty of the Lord and his ecstatic condition, they were all struck with wonder. Darshane Vaishnava Hoila Bole Krishna Hari Primaveshe Nache Lok Urdva Bahu Kori. Just by seeing Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everyone became a devotee. They began to chant Krishna and Hari and all the holy names. They all were merged in great ecstasy of love. They all were immersed in a great ecstasy of love and they began to dance, raising their arms. Krishna nama lok muke shuni aviram. 
कृष्ण नाम लोक मुके शुनि अभिराम से लोक वैष्णव कोयल अन्य सब ग्राम always hearing them chant the holy name of lord krishna the residents of all the other villages also became vaishnavas okay emata paramparaya desha vaishnava hoyla krishna namamrita vanjai deshi bashaila by hearing the holy name of krishna the entire country became vaishnava it was as if the nectar of the holy name of krishna over flooded the entire country katakane prabhu jadi by prakashila kurmara sevak bahu sumana korila after some time when lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu manifested his external consciousness a priest of the lord kurmade kurmadeity or kurmadev gave him various offerings जय ग्रामे जर थाहन ए व्यवहार ओके हम फ्रेंड जाने भाई जय ग्रामे जय थाहन ए व्यवहार एक थाय कहिलना कहिवा आर बार श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभुस मूड ऑफ मोड ऑफ प्रीचिंग हैज ऑलरेडी बीन एक्सप्लेन्ड एंड आई शैल नॉट रिपीट द एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड व्हाट एवर विलेज द लॉर्ड एंटरड हिज बिहेवियर वाज द सेम कौर्मनामे से ग्रामे वैदिक ब्रमान बहुश्वर भक्ते कोयल प्रभु निमंत्रण इन वन विलेज देयर वाज अ वैदिक ब्राह्मण नेम कौर्मा ही इनवाइटेड लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु टू हिज होम विद ग्रेट रिस्पेक्ट एंड डिवोशन गारियाने प्रभु कोयल पर प्रकालन से जल वंश सहित कोरिल बकना The Brahman brought Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to his home, washed his lotus feet, and with his family members drank the wa- that water. Anika pra, ane anika pra prakar snehe bika koraila gosaira seshana se bamshe kaila. With great affection and respect, that Korma Brahman. made shri chaitanya mahaprabhu eat all kinds of food after that the remnants were shared by all the members of the family now i have a a request to make here and not only here but anyone who is within earshot or hears hears this request if any persons would like to do some cooking seva that would be very nice now in the past sanatani she would do all the cooking but i'm this year she's not doing all the cooking for various reasons but one of them is her stamina and health she can't she can't do it she she just can't do it she's every time she cooks she's in certain amount of physical pain and I our thinking was well when the devotees get here among the devotees there are those persons who are adept at cooking so I would ask some of those persons to cook if someone sees Madhura Priya she comes here she can cook and anybody who would like to t- uh l- like to uh cook they can they can sign a list which i don't think exist or they can it's right there yeah there is a, a yes. request for that yes mm-hmm. there's a request there's a list and you can sign it is anyone has list anyone list signed it no just yeah. uh to, yeah i signed up for thursday's dinner very good or <laughs> but crap i was at the lead i think um my 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 daughter priya she was already signed up as lead but there, there's like several prep But is she here yet? She was here the other day, but She's already here. Yeah, yeah I saw her two I saw her two days ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm hoping she'll show up again. Jamuna was around also. Yeah. She didn't come here. She didn't come here yet, but she was she was at one of um one of the events where we were collecting at. She was at that event. <laughs>
All right. So I'm just making that announcement. Anyone else who's listening on, on uh, Facebook or anything, they can also contact us. Okay. With great effect, you have to be initiated, second initiation, hopefully. Okay. With great affection and respect that Kurma Brahman made Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay. Aneka prakar sne snehe bhikkha koraila gosaira seishana sa vamshe kaila. With great affection and respect that Kurma Brahman made Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu eat all kinds of food. After that, the remnants were shared by all the members of the family. Jai Pada Padma Tomar Brahma Jnana Kore Se Pada Padma Sakat Aila Moragari. The Brahman then began to pray, O oh my Lord, your lotus feet are meditated upon by Lord Brahma, and there were lotus, and these very lotus feet have come into my home. I also told, I also told this Sanatani, if you cook anything at home, you can just for for the for the festival or the devotees, you can bring it here and we'll offer it. And I would not only say that to Sanatani, I would say that to other persons who are members of her family, like Brinda. well, like Brenda, like Bumsh, um, not Brenda, like like Brenda, of course Brenda, but I wasn't going to say Bumshi. I was going to say like Brenda or like Radhika or like uh, Nilamani or like Lalita or like that. Any person in Sanatini's extended family, which is a lot of people, they can also do that. That Brahma, then Jai Parapadma Tomar Brahma Jnana Kori Jai Parapadma Sakat Aila Moragari that the Brahmana then began to pray, O oh my Lord, your lotus feet are meditated upon by Lord Brahma, and these very lotus feet have come into my home. Mura bhagyara sima nanchai kahan ajimura shlagya hoila janma koila koladan. My dear Lord, there is no limit to my great fortune. It cannot be described. Today, my family, birth, and riches have all been glorified. Kripa Kora Prabhu More Ta Jatoma Sange Sahitena Pariduka Vaishnava Tarange. Now we're getting to a part which is a good part for us to be having our conclusion, but this is very important. Kripa Kora Prabhu More Jatoma Sange Sahitena Pariduk Vishaya Tarange. The Brahman begged Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, my dear Lord. Kindly show me favor and let me go with you. I can no longer tolerate the waves of misery caused by materialistic life. Prabhu kohe aiche bhat kabuna kohiva grihe rohe krishna nam nirantara loiva. Mahaprabhu replied, Don't speak like that again. Better to remain at home and chant the holy name of Krishna always. Jaridekya. Jari Deka Tareko Ha Krishna Upadesh Amara Gyaya Guru Hoya Tara Edesh. This is the order of Mahaprabhu. Very, very important. Jari Deka Tareko Ha Krishna Upadesh Jari Deka Tareko Ha Krishna Upadesh Amara Gyaya Guru Hoya Tara Edesh. Instruct everyone to follow the orders of Sri Krishna as they are given in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, in this way, become a spiritual master and try to liberate everyone in this land. It says, Krishna Upad Upadesh, Prav, here it re is mentioned, the instruction of the Bhagavad Gita as it is spoken by the Lord or of Srimad Bhagavatam or Chaitanya Charitamrita uh, or the, uh, the or in Mahaprabhu's divine message, it says, Jari, Jari Deka Tare, Tare Koho Krishna Upadesh, Krishna Upadesh. You give the people the teachings of, of Krishna and Mahaprabhu, Amara Gyaya Guru Hoya Tare Desh. Instruct everyone to follow the orders of Sri Krishna as they are given in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. This way become a spiritual master 
and try to liberate everyone in this land. And so we're trying to do that here. You know, that's the instruction of Mahaprabhu. And Vishaka has done that very nicely. Kavuna bad badive tomar vishaya taranga punarapi tai pabe mora sanga. Mahaprabhu further advised the Brahman Kurma If you follow this instruction, your materialistic life at home will not obstruct your spiritual advancement. Indeed, if you follow these regulative principles, we will meet again, we will meet here, or rather, you will never lose my company. Emata Jaragare Kore Prabhu Bhikkha Se Aiche Kohetare Koreya Eshika at whose Whosever house Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted his alms by taking prasadam, he would convert the dwellers to his Sankirtan movement and advise them just as he advised the Brahman named Kuma. Okay. Pate Jaite Devaloye Rohe Jagrame Jaragare Bhikkakore Se Mahajane. Korme jai chi, riti tai chi, koila sarvatai, nila chale puna, javat na aila gosai. While on his tour, Mahaprabhu would spend the night at a temple or on the roadside. Whoever he, wherever he, oh, whenever he accepted food from a person, he would give him the same advice he gave the Brahman named Kurma. He accepted this process until he returned to Jagannath Puri. He adopted this process until he returned to Jagannath Puri from his South Indian tour. Ateva ihan kohilan koriya vistar emata janive prabhur sarvatra vyavahar. Thus I have described the Lord's behavior elaborately in the case of Kurma. In this way you will know Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's dealings throughout South India. Let's see. E mata se ratri tahai rohila pratakale prabhusnan koriya kshalila. Thus, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would remain at night in one place, and the next morning, after bathing, he would start again. Prabhura anu braji korma bahudura aila prabhutare jatna kore gare pataila. When Mahaprabhu left, the Brahman Korma followed him a great distance, but eventually Lord Chaitanya took care to send him back home. Okay, so we're stopping here. Can I close my eyes? Yeah. If you listen to Chaitanya Charitamrita every morning, your day will always go very well. Except on days when it doesn't go well, but it still will go well. <laughs> it still will go well. Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 Rakshamam. Krishna, 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 Pahimam. Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rakshamam. Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava, Krishna, Keshava. Pahi mom. <laughs> nice way to start a trip. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama. Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama.
Gananada Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda
Parikar Shishi Guru Goranga Gandharvika Giridari Ju Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Bhakti Tilak Neri Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Parvaja Kachari Ashta Tadasada Shishi Maharaj Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Parvaja Kachari Ashta Tadasada Shishi Maharaj Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Sat Sridhar Nanda Bhakti Ganot Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sarva Bhoma Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Guru Banuka Guru Bhargava Ki Jai Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunash Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Premsigo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasudhi Shri Gaurabhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Naratam Shinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai Vishvabharanya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Um Vishnupan Srila Bhakti Kusha Mashra Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shri Vishakadevi Ki Jai All the assembly Ananda Koti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Navadip Dham Ki Jai Shri Ramaya Pur Ki Jai Saparshita Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai Saparshita Shri Man Ma Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Kola Deep Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Seva Ashram Ki Jai Ganga Devi Ki Jai Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Shri Vrindaman Dham Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Amuna Ju Ki Jai Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai Shri Govinda Mela Ki Jai Shri Govinda Mela Ki Jai Shri Govinda Mela Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo Jai Shri Bhakti Bhavan Shri Radha Maharaj